All right, so here I got two of my computers. I technically have three if you count my desktop. I don't know if I'll be re I don't know if I'll be bringing my desktop into this uh, video, but um, what I want to talk about is Minecraft. More specifically, Minecraft on my late 2009 Unibody MacBook. This is a 13-inch model. It has a dual-core Intel processor, eight gigs of RAM, NVIDIA GeForce. 9 400M graphics with uh, 245 I think megabytes of VRAM and then my newest pro my newest computer which is a 2017 HP with AMD A12 Radeon with a uh, Radeon R7 graphics this thing is a four-core CPU, has a four, is a four-core AMD, clocked at 2.4 gigahertz, six gigs of RAM. I don't know how much VRAM this thing has. I'm thinking probably around half a gig to a gig of VRAM. Actually, when I loaded up No, Man, no Man's Lie on this thing, it said I had a, it says I had 500 megabytes of VRAM. So I'm going to take that as face value. I could be wrong, but then again, it is No Man's Lie. And of course I deleted it just after making just to see if it'll run. And it ran. But like I said, it's no man's lie. But um when it comes to power, this thing outbeats this. And yet this thing runs Minecraft better than this. Which is not what you think. So I already have Minecraft loaded up in the background. Oh yeah, before oh yeah, about before I forget. This thing's running Windows 7 64 bit. This thing's running Windows 10 64 bit. My main desktop is running Windows 7 64 bit. I tried running Windows 7 on this thing, but I couldn't find all the drivers for it, so I had to go back to Windows 10. Oh, you're gonna be like this again? I seriously don't know if this is uh, AMD's problem or if it's Windows 10's problem. Because I've never experienced this before. Even on any of my other Windows 10 laptops or tablets. i got a few tablets that can run the uh, Java version of, Windows 10 of uh, Minecraft without much problems. I mean, they're, I mean, it's choppy as hell because they're tablets, but at least with that one, I can... I can copy over whatever save world I like or whatever save world I find online and mess around in and whatnot. In this thing, I can't even load it back up after minimizing it for the start of this video. Granted, I didn't have to do this for this video, but whatever. But you can already see what I'm going through. And to make it fair, I'll make sure it's not running in the background. It is not. Because loading up when you're told to load up is too difficult. As you can tell, this my main rig is my not my main rig my new laptop is more of a pain in the ass than my macbook is and this thing's old as hell oh yeah for comparison why this thing loads why my laptop loads up my desktop which is in the background has an i5 processor clocked at 3.1 gigahertz, a NVIDIA G GeForce uh, GTX 950 with 2 gigs of VRAM, and 4 gigs of RAM. So that thing even has even less has less RAM than these two computers. All right, so I'm gonna load up my Minecraft world I have saved. Yes, I have an achievement CD world and whatnot. Now my main laptop 
will initially, now my new laptop will initially load in quicker, but after a certain point, the game just freezes. It does not, it refuses to do anything else. While my, while my MacBook on the other end will continue to load, ooh, actually my MacBook's faster this time around. My MacBook will shutter for a quick second or two and it'll take a little bit to load everything, but it'll eventually load in all the chunks. And I was currently I'm in the process of uh re-replicating this on my Vita. As you can tell, here's my Vita. Sounds like my which one's kicking in? It sounds like my HP is kicking in. Yeah, the HP, yeah, the cooler fan that thing's kicking in. So I'm gonna move those two away so you don't, so my so it doesn't overheat. So as you can tell, let's see. If, hopefully I'm not in the way completely. But as you can tell, with my MacBook, everything's lo slowly loading in. Yes, I have textures on basic, but everything's in working order more or less. It's actually, well, I mean, it's a lot more smoother than I thought it would be. But as you can tell, I can go fly around, do whatever I want. I can even blow up this dumb creeper if I wanted. But I'm not going to because I'll destroy what I'm working with. Working with. But yeah, this this thing's pretty much already loaded up, and I can go into the world and do whatever I want. I can go and re replicate whatever I want on my Vita if I want right now from my MacBook. And even though my MacBook will shutter, it'll still continue. And I think this time, it's going, and I think what's going to give me here is it's going to say, yep, Minecraft run out of memory. I call bullshit on that. Let's see. Okay, Minecraft, let's see. I have six gigs of RAM, okay? You're only using up a grand total of eight megabytes. Nine hundred, I mean not eight, eight, but 800 to 900 megabytes max. That is not our limit. You're well within the RAM limit. I'm, not even, I'm only using 50% of the RAM I have in this computer. I don't know if this, I don't know if this is the problem with Windows or if this is a problem with the fucking game. Cause this is fucking pathetic. I mean, for goodness sakes, freaking GTA 5 runs on this thing. Granted, it doesn't run that well, the frame rate's kind of low, 20s or 30s, but it plays GTA 5. Even this turd stain plays GTA 5. And it's a hard, and the frame rate's horrible, but it only, but even this turd stand will run GTA 5. And yet this thing does it? On Minecraft? What the actual L? I mean, it'll run the Windows 10 version, Pacific, the Windows 10 store version of Minecraft. But I can't port this save over there. Then I know the Windows 10 version of Minecraft is, uh, Superiorly optimized, but I can't load these saves in there and whatnot. Hey, at least I can run fucking Niku Pyro without any problems, at least. Fucking shitty Windows, shitty a AMD piece of shit. And I think for a comparison. Here's my main rig. Sorry about the reflection. I 
like this HP laptop, but bullshit like this makes me really regret my re, makes me really regret uh, giving up my i5 for this laptop. Granted, I'm still within the return policy, and I think I'm gonna do it. I mean, I like the laptop. I like the fact that it has a lot more power than my i5 than the i3 laptop I had originally, but. From this thing, but from this thing, uh, freezing whenever I watch, uh, YouTube videos, to it not being able to play a simple game of Minecraft, makes me really want to return this piece of $300 shit stain. I mean, if it turns out it's AMD's fault, then it really emboldens my hatred of AMD. Even if, even though, even though Ryzen is a is a good compromise for a for a budget gaming setup and whatnot. But if it, but but if it turns out, like I said, if it turns out this it's the reason why this thing can't run right is due to the AMD processor and whatnot. Just really emboldens my hatred for AMD. And kind of proves my point about how Intel's always better. But like I said, I don't want I'm going to get opinions from the Minecraft community that there's got to be at least a few people that generally know what's going on with this thing that are not freaking little 12 year old kids that are going, that are, that are going to go fanboy on my, on my video. Granted, I did go fanboy when I talked about, AM, about the Intel and AMD and whatnot, but I got a little heated, so yeah. With that, I'm going to end this video. I'm probably going to end up deleting this video soon after like probably a week of it being up, unless it turns out I need. Turns out it's a good. It starts a good conversation on a forum or whatnot. But for those that are wondering about my Draken Tree build, which is this is currently where I'm at with it. I do plan on starting this build back up. I'm going to either start it up tomorrow or the next day is currently 3.45 a.m. So technically I may start it today when I wake up or I may start it tomorrow. I don't know yet. It depends on how I feel and I'm still got a sick puffer I'm trying to uh, cure. So it depends, on what, it depends on what happens. I think I'm going to start it tomorrow, which is... Thursday so so it'll probably be a video up on this thing around Thursday or Friday of how far I've gotten to, gone with it